Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. Mitch and Raisa hanging out with you. If you're searching for the perfect wine to pair with your meal, that can actually be a challenge. But what about the perfect wine to drink after you've rated your kid's Halloween oh, yeah. candy? Today, we're going to do just that. We're pairing wines with Halloween candy. Yes, joining us now to help us pair the perfect wine with our fun size Snickers and Twix is Sandra Giebord. She is the CEO and founder of Sandra's Wine Life and has just published her first book, Find Your Wine Identity. What does that mean, finding your wine identity? Like, what is that all about, Sandra? Well, you know, everybody goes into the wine shop and you know exactly what the bottle is, right? Yeah. So if you've already identified with one particular type of wine, my job is to get you to try different types of oh, wine okay. and change things up. My book goes through the seasons. You change your clothes, you change your food, your cuisine, you should change your wines as well. So I need to quit just going to the Boone's Farm is what you're saying. Yeah, maybe yeah, go, well, you know, there might that be is some... quite an identity. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm excited about this conversation, so I want to dive right into these pairings. First up, we have a Savion Blanc. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So food and wine pairings and candy and wine pairings are very much the same. The lighter, brighter the candy, the lighter, brighter the wine. Oh, okay. So we're going to start with the Sauvignon Blanc. And I selected the Hess. Select. This is a wonderful family vineyard. They make great, reasonably priced, priced wines. Now, the thing that is so gorgeous with this is some sort of citrusy candy. I, pay, I oh. highly suggest... The Sour Patch, okay. um, anything lemon, lime, Skittles work as well, Starburst. But if you have anything lemon or lime and you take a bite and take a sip and it explodes in your mouth, the Ooh. flavor, right. give it a try. Oh, oh, well, we got lemon heads. And boy, these mm. are strong. All right. <laughs> All right. And then so I tell you what. Mm. Uh, there's something about the acidity mm of the the white wine with the sugariness of what you're doing and just like explodes it, yeah. the flavor i like that mm -hmm. i like it a lot that's a good one right all right very cool very i like good. that idea all right and moving and forward like, and again you can do starburst you can do but anything particularly with that citrus i would definitely try this again with this more sour like a sour uh, like gummies or sour patch yeah, kids, yeah. Exactly. Hey, what oh, about yeah. what about throwing a, a, a sour gummy inside the wine bottle? Oh. Is that is that a, not a good thing to do? Or not? <laughs> Maybe that takes away from the the class of it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, and again, Boone's Farm, okay? Boone's Farm, all right? Boone's Farm. All right, let's move on now to Pinot Noir. You say there's a great matchup where you can get Reese's peanut butter cups, Kit Kats, Twix, a peanut M and M. Tell us why that's a good pick. Pinot Noir is the most food friendly wine and it's also the most candy friendly wine. Oh. <laughs> so there's, you know, when you're thinking of a Pinot Noir, you've got all kinds of flavors of cherry and spice and earthiness. So it's going to go with a big array of of candies. I chose uh, my favorite pairing is the peanut uh, the Reese's peanut the butter cups okay. with yeah. the Pinot Noir. There's something because the, the peanut butter in this is a little bit sweet. So it has it, it picks up on the the like the earthiness of the of the Pinot Noir. Another pairing you want to try. Uh, everybody loves those vines, the uh, the Twizzlers. Oh, okay. oh interesting. Twizzlers you with put this would be and Twizzlers really together. yummy. Yeah, I love that. And you That's chose the Martin Ray uh, Pinot Noir here. Good uh, here wine go. matching. This is a fantastic wine, and you know, again, we're in fall season now, so we've got all kinds of fall cuisine coming into through our kitchens and in our uh, or ordering at restaurants. So. Think of Pinot Noir. It's like the leveler. It'll go with just about everything. It's like your go-to wine. Right. Go-to wine for candy, I'm too. liking this. It has a mm. Mars uh, peanut and a taste uh, with a nice follow-through. I'm making it. <laughs> I'm just making it up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Remember, keep that in mind. But I do oh, like this. Sure so again, this is a this is really good. Wine, so you want like savory flavors with it. It's the peanut butter, the caramel, so the lighter milk chocolate. That's where, the, that's where the flavors really blend and, and go and complement each other. This is so and then, interesting. Mm. Yeah. Now, the, again, as you're moving through candy, like you're moving through food, the bigger and more complex the candy, the bigger and more complex the wine. All right. So we're going to move on into Snickers. Okay. That's right. Based Snickers, uh, any of the bigger, anything with dark chocolate. You remember those those little Hershey dark, dark chocolates? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's where you go with the nice big Cabernet. And the one that I picked for you, 
is appropriately named for Halloween. It's called Freak Show. <laughs> I've, I've had it. Freak Show before, and it's really good. He's it is a good wine. I was yeah. about it is a fantastic wine. Michael David Vineyard, I love their wines. They've got Freak Show. They've got uh, Freak Show Pinot. They do earthquake wines that are just like over the top, really big and really, really luscious. This is good. Um, wow. All of these wines, I also like Bang for the Buck. All of these wines are under $20. So, I'm loving this. This is just a great have idea. Some fun. You can have some parents stop by, and the kids can enjoy their candy, and you can enjoy their candy, and you can have a little bit of nice sipping. Oh, laundry. man, Sandra, this has been fantastic. You're, so, you're awesome. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. You know, for those of you at home, for more information about wine pairings and to get a copy of the book, please visit sandraswinelife.com. Boone's fine, no more for me. <laughs>